Hi, I'm your host, Simon, and welcome to the very first episode of Gamer's Living Room. And as it's a first, I'm going to be taking you back and having a look at my first computer. Yes, we are going on a retro trip. We're going back to the mid 80s, so I'm gonna share with you my first computer by doing an unboxing and a testing of it. And also, while we're at it, I'm going to do a review of the first video game I ever bought. Now, I'm really excited about this, and I hope you enjoy it. Well, before I begin the unboxing, it's probably best for me just to preface it with a bit of information about the machine itself. Because for those of you that are watching from outside the UK, you might not be aware of this machine at all. And those of you who are maybe under the age of 25 might have no idea about it either. Um, the video gaming industry in the UK was, especially between the years of 82 and about 87, was completely dominated by gaming computers rather than games consoles. Uh, I mean, we did have, um, in the late 70s and into the early 80s, the um, Atari 2600, of course, I mean, it's popular all over the world, and things like the Intellivision, the ColecoVision. Um, but it was from about 82 onwards that computers really took complete control of the gaming market in the UK. Um, and the machine that I've got is the one that parents would have bought for their children if they were more concerned about them doing their homework on the machine than playing games. Now, that's not to say that the machine didn't have games. It had many good, good games for it. But it's be the reason for them buying it, the parents that is, is because it was based on the same architecture or very similar architecture to the machine that the kids would have in school. Now, in the UK, there's a company called Acorn who made a machine called the BBC Micro. And this is what would be found in 95% of schools. If they had a computer, it would have been a BBC Micro. And so the machine I've got is a kind of cut down BBC Micro light, if you will. And I mean, one of the reasons my parents bought it, of course, was because it was considered kind of the school's computer. But the other reason that they bought it, in fact, probably fundamental reason they bought it is because my uncle had, at the time, a BBC Micro. And I'd spent time playing on that and loved using it and was very familiar with the games that were available on that system. So um, that's probably why my dad chose that one. Um, so let's have a look at it. Well, here it is. It is the Acorn Electron. And I've got to say that for something that's over 25 years old, it's in remarkably good condition. When I think of some of my other machines and how much the plastic has faded and how dirty they look, the power adapter. The cable to connect it up to the tape drive. And well, there is an RF cable, but it seems to have got wedged and kind of into the polystyrene. It's like it's like it's living inside the polystyrene. So I'll leave that in there because I've got obviously RF cables from other machines. Um, so I'll go and get one of those in a second. 
Now the other thing it needs is tape drive. Now you could get discs for the Acorn Electron, much like the other systems at the time. Um, you could even get ROM cartridges for it, but most people used tape, as obviously it was the cheapest, uh, cheapest solution, the cheapest way to store your games. Um, and that's my one there. Um, well, of course, the power for the tape drive. Uh, and there's one other thing we're going to be looking at today, and that is this game. Now this is the first first game I ever bought. I mean, I, technically there were games that came with the machine, so I suppose I owned those, but when it was my choice and my money to buy a game, um, this is the first one I bought, Citadel. And uh, we'll do a little bit of a review of that as soon as I've set this up. So, I'll just go get that cable, the RF cable, and I'll set this bad boy up. I'll be back in a minute. Ah, well, I found uh, an RF cable for my Sega Master System, so that should work with this. So, let's set it up and uh, see how she runs. Beep means she's still alive, so um, let's just have a look on the telly. Let's uh, let's take a look. Now, I absolutely love this game. Just uh, there's just something about it that I can't really put my finger on. I mean it. Probably a big part of it is that it was my first game, but I just spent so much time playing it. Okay. And then chain double inverted. And. Ah. Tape's doing nothing. Needs rewinding. No, it doesn't like that either. Uh, maybe these, the black and the white are round the wrong way. Okay. Well, that makes no difference whatsoever. Well, I'd say that's a tape drive problem. Looks like the motor is Well, it sounds like the motor's screwed, so um, the only other thing I can do is, well, we'll have to revert to emulation. I've got an emulator on my Mac called Electrem, and I've got a copy of Citadel on that. So, uh, well, let's continue this in the study.